Hey everyone, I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV, and this man needs no introduction. We got the one and only Mr. Don King. Very Let me ask you this question. Vaughn has told me you didn't even know who Gennady was when you first got the call. Is that true? Or, um, it's true because we no one knew. This is God's promotion. This is something that everyone has indicated from here. No one really can say they can take credit other than the people that just stood steadfast in the spirit of the Lord. They had the tenacity, the steadfastness, and the perseverance, you know what I mean, with faith, you know what I mean, not knowing what it's going to be, but the faith that it's going to be, you know what I mean, and it happened, you know what I mean. With man, this is impossible. With God, all things are possible. So what we have here is a show of destiny, a spiritual event that's going to take place on Cinco de Mayo, and it is not no Mexican fighting. But it is the spirit of Mexico that is fighting. It, it, but they fight Mexican style. Yes, it is a spirit. Listen, Mexico, Mexico, hear my cry. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Victory is ours. You can go back from Hildago when he said Mexicanos. Viva Mexico. To Juan Benitez Vargas, El Blanco. You know what I mean? To Pancho Villa, Emiliano Zapata. Every one of us, we are fighting for equality. We're fighting for justice. We're fighting for liberty and freedom. And so this is a destiny fight, a fight that brings in and encapsulates all of the funding, founding principles of this great nation called America. And you're going to see a historic event, history in the making. Viva Mexico! Viva Mexico! Enrique Nino Pieto! That's my <laughs> presidente! Hey, all righty then. Okay, well, going back to this fight, do you know anything about Gennady and his style? That's going to give um, Vanez a hard time. No, I think that I think that uh, Gennady is going to be the, he's going to be the biggest fighter he's ever been in his life because he's going to demonstrate how he can do it losing. You know, he's, he's you know because when a fighter is one-sided and goes one way, you never know what the reaction is if you ever got in trouble. You know, you have to be able to deal with trouble because Satan is always working 24/7. And so what Ali taught me that, and he says when you do lose. He said, even against all your odds, you have no intention of losing. He said, but it makes you bigger and better because now you can feel the pain that you've been putting out on others for all the time that you just beat them one after another. You know, now you feel their pain, and then if you can readjust and come up, you're a whole fighter, then you're a whole human being. You know, because you can hear people say, I'm commensurate with your plight, but they're not empathetic with your plight. You know what I mean? I feel your pain. No, they don't. You know what I mean? That's, that's words, just rhetoric. You know what I mean? But when you do it and you feel it, then you know it's real. Then you can stand up and make a deal. You know what I mean? I'm going to get up and knock myself off, dust myself off, and get back in the fight again. And so that's what uh, uh, Gennady, uh, Golovkin is going to do. Gennady is going to do that on Saturday because the spirit is all ind indicative. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but God does. You know what I mean? So we'll just see whether Vannis can rise to the occasion and to take advantage of history in the making. And you know, history in the making is happening also that night with the first female fight on HBO World Championship Boxing between the, an undisputed and undefeated champ, Cecilia Brekus, and also Kaylee Reese. From uh, She's a former middleweight champ. Um, I began women boxing. I put it in and took the champion, got the Sports Illustrated cover. Made it a oh, Christy Chris Martin. Martin. Yeah, yeah, Christy Martin. I just paved the way inducted. For this. Yes. Yes. And a Hall of Famer from yes. all the indications. That was me. And got the BMW to come in there. Got a brand new BMW they donated. Everybody was coming on board because she was demonstrating womanhood. You can do what you have well, to why do. Why didn't you continue with yeah, it? Well, you know what? There's a lot of things that come in circumvent. I'm doing everything else now, fighting most of my energy going into peace to try to save people, beautiful people like you, your children and your children's children, to get to have a place to live they have a place to exist because as John F. Kennedy said June the 10th 1963 he said a, a, a nuclear war would 24 hours would be devastating to the whole universe of our existence he said and then with the gases from the siege and the water and the sand and the air he said for generations to come you know what I mean you will hear you will feel the effects of death if we could live like the nuclear bomb kills we'd have a wonderful world you know what I mean? Because the nuclear bomb is it is not it is not prejudice. It don't discriminate. It say it brings you all whosoever want to die, come with me. You know what I mean? You ain't nobody gonna be left out, black, white, yellow, brown. We all got to give in and go out and die. That's what the nuclear bomb does. It promo it promotes death. All right. So now then we're gonna deal with that. Then we wanna live, we got to have faith in God and believe in what you don't see. 
but have the faith that it's going to happen. And that's why this show here is so indicative and so spiritually destined that it's unbelievable that we got a show here today that nobody can say what, how, where, when it did, it, but it's happening because of the perseverance in the spirit of who's him who sits high, looks low, and keeps his eye on the sparrow. So I'm looking forward to this with great anticipation and excitement myself, and I think it's a, a, a fight of growth for Golakin. I think he's one of the greatest fighters around. He's a young man from Kazakhstan coming in. I was noting how he was speaking English. I said, wow, that's amazing. And so it's really something in being 36 years old and, it, and his birthday being on April 8th. I think this is just so magnificent. So all the indications are there. All you got to do now is to sit back, relax, and enjoy boxing at his best. But the spirit and the message that's being carried, that's what's so important here. And that's what we want to do along with our president, because say what you will or me, that decision and how they contain and retain and constrain themselves in their emotional states of mind to make things happen for the peace of mind for all of mankind and womankind. So I'm very happy, you know what I mean, that I'm, I'm supportive of God's choice because no one could have made Trump president other than the will of the people and God's granting them their prayer there and he blessed us because no other way you can you justify that Trump would ever be a president of the United States okay. all right but so don't look at it don't look at it like everybody trying to tell y'all he's going to do this he's with this that he's with that he's going to do this all the name calling that you ever seen he's guilty until proven innocent, not they have reversed the presumption of innocence into proven guilty. So there's all of these things here, just bad of witness that we see it materialize right before our eyes, all of the different prejudices, the discrimination, all the things that we are suffering daily, he's now suffering in a bright light where everybody can see. So Ray Charles can see it, you know what I mean? He understands what time it is, you know what I mean? So now it's the system that's the enemy. It ain't Donald Trump, it's the system because Trump just drove up and you're talking about 400 years. They, they jumping on my poor boy, uh, Con Kanye. Stay strong, baby. You mean I can't explain it the way it's supposed to be, but you know you're on the right side when you're on God's side because ain't nobody can knock it down any way you want to cut it, slice it, dice it. If it wasn't for God, Trump would not be president. So who's going to go against God? Only that man named Satan, you know, he's 24 7 too. So let us stand together with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and let us move on to a destinous evening on Cinco de Mayo right here in Los Angeles when this young man takes on Golovkin. What is it? Gennady Golovkin. Oh, that's going to be amazing. One of the most super fighters of the day in this era. And he's going to take it. His name is Banis. And he's going to take it for Armenia. Armenia, Armenia. Hear my cry. B I C T O R Y. Victory is ours, Armenia. And America, too. Red, white, and blue. Yeah, I'm yes. going to ask you. I'm going to play a little quick game with you. The name I, I say, first thing that comes to your mind, one word. Ready? Ready? Bernard Hopkins. Great fighter. That's, that's two words. Oscar De La Hoya. Great. Mike Tyson. Great, great. Uh, Christy Martin. Fantastic. Bonnet. Fantastic. Sugar Ray Robinson. Best of all times. Ali. The greatest. Who's your favorite fighter? It, 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 it oh, could have been. <laughs> choose one. You didn't have to. You didn't even have to promote them or someone that you like or you love. I love them all, but Muhammad Ali, you know what I mean? The man with, uh, you know, yeah, let me say it, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, your hands can't hit, what your eyes can't see, rumble, young man, rumble. Yeah. I'm so fast, I can turn off the lights and get in the bed before the room gets dark. That is my man, you know, we are ready to rumble. We him and Boudini Brown, we are sitting there now in the spirit of Muhammad Ali is spouting because he stood up for mankind. He stood up for himself and he had an opportunity to go to the jail for five or six years and lost four of the best years at the height of his career. So no one can humanly justify or analyze how great Muhammad Ali could be. Well, he is greatest by what he was and he lost four, four years of the highest part of his height of his career. So you know you no one can really just put the stamp of approval or disapproval. They got to be able to look at it like it really is. You know what I mean? There is a man that stands tall among us all and he justifiably risked his life, his fortune, and everything else standing up for his belief. And, and, and uh, thank God the Supreme Court of the United States vindicated that belief. And so what we have here is a living legend. The spirit of Muhammad Ali never dies. Yes, well, you know, Don, I could sit here and talk to you all day, give me a boxing history, boxing lesson, because you're just a fun guy. But you know what? Other people want to get the wisdom and, you know. Are you hungry you, for me, baby? Huh? Yes, I am. <laughs>
<laughs> well, I am hungry, yeah, but I know bite. you are going yes. to have to speak with the next yes, people. But yes. you know what? Check out his fighter, Von Ismar Rosen. He is going up against Gennady Golovkin this Saturday. Single de Mayo, Mexican Style 2, Stub Up Center, HBO World Championship Boxing, and also history will, may, will be made with Cecilia Brekus and uh, Kaylee Reese. So check it out. Check out Don King's fights. Just, you know what? He went. He took us to church today, and thank you very much for the beautiful uh, sermon. All right, guys, I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.